I woke up to a nice surprise on Saturday morning. They literally didn't even notice a camera in my garage. I have a crystal clear image of both their faces. Well, caught on camera, burglars breaking into a garage and getting away with valuables worth thousands of dollars. This happened over the weekend in Fountain Square. Now, tonight, police and the homeowner want these thieves off the streets. CBS 4's Lindsay Eaton is talking to the homeowner who is asking everybody to take a close look at the surveillance video. Caught on camera, thieves scoping out what's inside this garage in Fountain Square. Just knowing that they were like on a free shopping spree and they didn't really care the impact of what they were doing or who they were doing it to. On Friday night, surveillance video shows these two people spending nearly 10 minutes inside Michael Hines' garage. He was on vacation and got the notification on his phone the next morning. Actually seeing physical video of two people you don't know rummaging through your stuff is just like super, super unsettling. Heim says the two burglars pried his garage door open and then footage shows them looking around, pointing to items and wheeling out bikes. They stole four, including an electric bike, along with tools and a paintball gun, all worth $7,000. Stuff that they could sell easily. Um, they left us like golf clubs, lawnmowers, stuff like that. So there's valuable stuff in here they didn't take. And one break-in apparently isn't enough. A couple hours later, one of the thieves returned. One of the guys actually came back a couple hours later, kind of, I think he forgot the charger to the electric bike. Himes filed a police report and handed over all the surveillance video. These are the clearest and closest shots of the thieves. My neighbor here across the alley had the same, came over and told us he had the same thing happen to him on Tuesday. Um, so. Could be the same guys. They didn't have surveillance video, so we don't know. If it's in between getting his things back or these two getting caught, this homeowner is willing to make the sacrifice. I would rather than be caught 100 times over and getting my stuff back. I can, I can buy new stuff. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, it sucks. It's gone. But at the end of the day, I'd rather get them off the street. In Fountain Square, Lindsay Eaton, CBS 4 News. Lindsay, thank you. And if you recognize either, either of those suspects, please call IMPD.